Hello and welcome back to 100 Coding Challenges in C Sharp. This is episode 7 and it's called Age Selection. So the challenge today is to write a program that asks the user to input their age and if their age is greater than 16 then display the message you are old enough to drive otherwise display the message you are not old enough to drive. Now this is the first episode in the new segment called Selection. The previous six episodes were on programming basics and now we've moved on to Selection. The bonus round of this challenge is to add more options and appropriately display those messages. So for example, you could add something like um, if the user's over 90 to also say that they are too old to, to drive, for example. If you'd like to attempt this challenge yourself, then hit that pause button now and we'll get started. Alright, so let's get into it. We're going to start off by asking the user how old they are. And then we're going to declare a variable called age of type integer. And then we want to convert the user's response to an int 32. So we're going to read that the user's input and store it into this age variable. And then what we're going to be using is an if statement to check that the user is older than 16. So we will say if, and then within brackets, we can say age is greater than 16. And then we can have some curly braces to say what happens if that condition is met. And in here, we just want to say you are old enough to drive. Cool. And then, and then what we'll have here is the else statement. This means that whatever this expression is, if that isn't met, then we will go into this snippet of code here. So in here we want to say, you are not old enough to drive. I'll just make that in capitals. Um, and there we go. So if we run that, how old are you? Let's say I am 32. Tells me I am old enough to drive. And if you run that again, it says, how old are you? And I say, I am 12. You are not old enough to drive. So just to recap, um, you start off the if statement by saying if, and then within brackets, you declare your expression. So you could use a range of different op operators. You could have had this uh, the other way around as well. If you said if age is um, less than 17, then that would mean that anybody who is 16 or under uh, would be old enough to drive. But you could switch this around, have this here, have this here, and that would give you the same outcome. So now if I st still say, for example, I am 16, I am not old enough to drive. Let's just change that back to how it was before. Uh, 16. So for the bonus round, we wanted to check if the user was older than 90 to say that they are too old to drive. The way we would do this is by having an else if statement. So this way we can have multiple conditions that we want to check on. So I'm actually going to set this second one to age 16 and set the first one to 90. And the reason for that is that the ordering of this actually matters. So if I say if the age is greater than 90, I want to say you are too old to drive and if the age is greater than 16 then you are old enough to drive otherwise you're not old enough to drive if I were to have this first that wouldn't work because it would check if it's 16 first and if the user is 95 it would already tell them that they are old enough to drive and that would be fine and it would exit out of this if statement um, that's why you have to make sure that you get the ordering right as well so if we try this now and I say that I am 95 for example, 
It says you are too old to drive. And there you go. That's the first episode in the selection segment. Um, please stick around. We're going to be doing various other challenges with this selection statement. It should be a fun one. I'd actually quite like to see what solutions you guys come up with. So if you want, obviously, uh, there are different ways to solve all of these challenges. So um, it would be good if you could put down in the comment section below what you did and how you solved it. And if you got stuck and why you got stuck, I'd be happy to reply. And I'd love to see what you guys had come up with. But like always, if you guys enjoyed the video, then hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe and stick around for the next episodes. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.